When you're starting out new in a, in a certain place and you don't know what to expect, and when people greet you with a smile and say welcome, then you feel welcome. It's not like coming in the door of an institution. There are flowers around, there are beautiful furnishings. So it's almost as if you're coming to someone's home. They know my name and they come up and they call me by name. Every single person here is recognized to be a person. I love it, I love it. It's the people, the people make it. I like to have company for lunch. I like to have company for dinner. And if there's a program going on, I want to know about it. I have people I like to play bingo with, as long as they do that win-win. And I like people, and I like to be surrounded by people. And that's why the Friendly Home does it for me. I've been a volunteer here for probably four months. I'd like to visit men and women who have no visitors because their families are out of town. The woman, Rel, that I'm with now is just a delightful lady. She's very, very religious and spiritual, very proud of her family, and she has me write them letters. She's so cute, she always says, now, this is my scribe writing to you. So I think, oh, I'm a scribe. <laughs> I always go home from here feeling really good. I'm giving something to them, but they're giving a way lot more to me because I feel so good when I finish volunteering here. I personally had a lot of fears and anxieties making the decision to have my mom stay here at the Friendly Home. She's a little reserved, but somehow the people here, they figured that out right away. They knew what she needed. And remarkably to me was they got me too. They really understood what I was going through and they told me, you're going to be able to be a daughter again. Every interaction with your mom is not gonna be about her care because she's gonna have the care she needs. That's really when I knew it was gonna be good. It was gonna be fine. I'm not worried about, is she okay? I know she's okay. I think about her all the time, but I don't worry about her all the time. Memory care is, it's a life-changing experience working on memory care and with dementia and there are extreme behaviors and it can be a challenge but there are those moments that you know they are there and it's great to be able to experience those moments um, where they come back to you just for a moment. This job is honestly my life. Um, it's my passion. I, I can't imagine doing anything else with my life. My favorite part of working here, being able to interact with the greatest generation. Um, we have the generation of the World War II vets still and the individuals who saw the Great Depression, who worked so hard to set our future up, to give us the life we have today, and just an awesome group of people. They deserve the best of the best because they're absolutely worth it. It's such an emotionally safe place for all of us. And I feel like when I come here, I'm just coming to mom's house and visiting with mom. And then when I leave, I don't have to worry. I'm not leaving her alone. She's here where she's safe. It's well-rounded here. In other words, they're not just taking care of me in my room. They're not just taking care of my meals, but they are taking care of me all the way around. And this makes a big, big difference because this is my home. It's, it's really friendly. And I love it here. <laughs>